Okay, YouTube, this is a video that I'm going to show. This is mom. I had a clutch of babies produced from this female. Um, so I'd like to first show you the female, the mom, um, and how much the babies look like they carry the characteristics of the mom in a genetic way. Um, First of all, if you see these these side slashes, um, let's see how I can show you in the video here. First of all, the the fading on this female was really amazing. Also, right along, as you can see in here, like how the long slash marks in the sides. Okay, that that was something that I looked at. Also, the head, a lot of fading, really prominent head pattern, um, but a lot of a lot of um, a lot of blushing up the sides. Those uh, uh, faded spots, um, just a really unique look to this female. Something that, you know, I don't know what it is, but other people have said, you know, you might want to, you might want to try breeding that one and see what you get. It's got a totally different look than, than, a, than a normal ball python. Okay, so let's try and keep her so she stays put. <clears throat> now this is the dad to the clutch. The one I'm supposing is the complete father. This is a spider. Um, he's got really cool head pattern, high white sides, very reduced reduced uh, pattern. Let's see. Hopefully they're gonna stay put here. Now these are the these are the normal babies. Okay? I had one spider. So these are the normals, but what I want you to see is the way that the neck pattern has that dot on them. They all have the prominent head patterns as well. They all have this really unique look to them. And they're they're all like like carbon copies. Um this one in particular is really amazing looking. belly. Okay. It's not working out as well as I want. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can line these up here. focus in. And you see how the see how the pattern all looks pretty similar on those. <clears throat> here's the here's the spider. And actually even the spider has a pretty neat pattern to it as well. Um, but just, there's something going on there. I don't know what it is. You know, everybody, everybody's commented on them as well, saying it does look interesting. 
something you got to breed one of the baby males back to dad and see what turns up. But if somebody out there knows what could possibly be going on with this, again, here's mom. Okay. So if we breed a male back to mom, we should then be able to figure out genetically what what's going on with it. They haven't shed yet, so once they shed, I think it'll be a little more interesting to see what they look like up close. Try and give you a little better better picture. On camera it's like moving the complete opposite direction so if anybody has any kind of idea of what you think is going on here let me know but this one is just really amazing looking you can see those side slashings the head marking The belly is pretty much you know, normal looking bellies, I guess. Let me see if I can get one of the other bellies opened up here. Kind of unique, you know. Kind of different. A lot of flames up the side. That's what we got. Kind of cool. It's just, you know, instant red flag when everybody looks like the same. Okay. Spider's kind of neat too. A different look to him. Okay. Again, here's mom. Like I said, wouldn't you hold that head pattern back? The blushing. Still trying to figure out what the heck she is, if anything at all.
Or that's mom belly pattern. Kinda. Different. else unique on her except those you know the, the flaming type things and also these long slashes this is what gives her that kind of unique look okay that's it